Hey, this is Walter Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger, and you're watching Pretty Color Ghosts. Zachary, you are clever and brave. You shall command the Mastodon Dinosaur. Yeah! Rafi Media Villa de Criticólogos, me encuentro en Aguada con Comic Fest 2018 y me encuentro ahora mismo con alguien sumamente especial para la, para la leg legacy de lo que es los Power Rangers, Walter Jones, Zack, the original Black, Black Ranger. That, that's him. Uh, Walter, welcome to Criticólogos. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, first question is, I mean, I already, I, we, we were spoken backstage, I already spoke to David, I already spoke to Jason and Richard Horowitz, I got a, a good enough chance to speak to him about, <laughs> yeah, 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 about, like, 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 like what did I say, a month ago, um, I always ask you guys the same thing, what, what's just the legacy? So many different versions of the Power Rangers have changed since the original, what does the legacy mean to, means to you guys? I think the legacy of Power Rangers is basically uh, good triumphs over evil. You know, that's what we do. It's like, you know, if, uh, if there's something bad going on, then there's got to be some good guys or some people willing to be the good guys and come along and try to handle the situation. It takes a hero to make a difference. And a hero is in every, every one of us. So I think that's the legacy of the Rangers. I grew up uh, with the Power Rangers. Many of, many of the people that are watching this the video right now, this interview right now, grew up as the Power Rangers. How does, does, what does it mean to you that they're, they're still here, that, that the fan base is still here? It's amazing. It's amazing that our fan base is like stuck around for 25 years. I mean, we started the show, we didn't know what it was going to be, and, and here we are 25 years later. Today I was talking to a gentleman who was uh, 29 years old, and he was saying that he was watching the show when he was eight, and I, he's also, I was also talking to his nine-year-old daughter who now watches the show, and I'm like, I'm looking at these two generations, and the thing is, is his mother and father used to watch the show with him, so it's three generations, it's pretty incredible. It's, it's incredible. To you, how has it changed from the original Fire Rangers to, to, to so, many, so many versions of the Fire Rangers, you know, uh, Dino Thunder, Ninja, how, how has it changed? How, how, what did you feel has changed from the beginning to right now? Uh, you know, I think the basic premise of the show is, is still the same. Uh, it's the application of it. It's uh, it's where it happens. It's in space. It's in you know a different time period. It's with like dinosaurs. It's in you know um, it's with ninja. It's just like you know it's the same story, different crew of people, and uh, I think that's that's pretty cool. You know, it, it this caters to everything, but the basic the basis of the story is the same. So, um, uh, the the assets Power Rangers were just bought by Hasbro. From Sabat, um, what um, what do you think is going to change? How how how, what, how are the projects going to be coming going forward? What do you what what do you think is going to change? You know, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, I, I really do hope that uh, Hasbro takes the show and, and and does some more things with it because uh, it, it's it's a great property uh, and and I hope to be involved. Um, it's it's been a non-union show for 25 years. I've been a union actor for 25 years or 24 years and. Uh, 23 years, and uh, and I would love to be part of it. I just need to, you know, be taken care of in a proper way. Meaning, I, it needs to be a union project where everything is fair. I, you know what I like about this? Every time I ask the question, Richard Horvath said the same thing, and David Joss said the same thing. Everybody excited about the purchase of Hashbro for Power Rangers. Final question: um, you, you just said it. You want to be involved in 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 the, you know in a kind of private project with Power Rangers. Yeah. What other projects you have pending? I, I got a couple of different projects that I've been working on. I, I've been doing a lot of voiceover work. Uh, I just was in the uh, Bobby Brown story mm. and uh, I worked on doing voiceover as well as uh, I am the voice of the uh, Cyborg toy uh, for uh, Mattel. And um, I got a few other things coming up, but I, I can't really talk about them too ah. much. Uh, we do have the order that we're still working on and, and everybody's excited about that. So uh, we'll see what happens. Perfect. What, what, my final question, what is your thought of the, the, the new reboot movie? What, what, you thought, what you thought about it? What did I think about the reboot movie? I, yeah. thought, I thought it was good. It was very entertaining. I, um, I thought the actors did a great job, especially uh, RJ. He, he killed it. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, and Ludi Lin did a great job as, as Zach. Uh, the, obviously, the characters were very different from the original characters. Mm -hmm. um, I wish that they would have stuck a little closer to what the originals were. Like, I would love to have seen some hip-hop keto. Mm -hmm. That, I thought, was a primary 
uh, been a primary principle of my character because, mm -hmm. you know, it was the only ranger that ever had that that kind of style. So, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of things that have have grown from that, from hip hop to parkour to, you know, all kinds of things. And like it, it, it heightened the level of people. So. Mm -hmm. I wish they would have implemented that, but maybe next time. Perfect. Perfect. Walter, thank you for the interview. Thank you for your time. Right, have, have fun here in Puerto Rico. Thank you.